Welcome to Ramamart.com, where the arts of the past come to life. This piece, which was painted in 2009, is 8 foot high and 6 foot wide. The medium is oil on canvas. Muhammad Ali, probably the most popular man on the planet in the last century. The first thing you will notice is that he is draped in lion skin. This is an ancient symbol used during the golden days to show a man's dominance in his culture and society. The lion is one of the most powerful animals on the planet and to become associated with its power was reserved for prominent figures. Every king from the golden days wanted to be associated with the lion. From Kemet to Kush to Babylon and Far Asia. The most popular piece of art of a lion is found in Africa, commonly called the Sphinx, but described by the ancients as Heru and Aket, light in the horizon. What you will notice is that he is wearing a white lion. But why the white lion? Normally, a lion is shown in gold so they could blend in with their surroundings. But once in a while, one of them sticks out for their rarity. During the golden ages of the Sun Kings, they always associated themselves with the golden mane. As seen on the left upper corner side of the painting is the light and behind him on the right side you see the darkness. After the fall into the dark ages everything became the opposite. So you transferred from the sun ages to the moon age. So everything in that period will be associated with the moon. Just like the seasons during the year, the fall or dark ages wouldn't last long. So here we see Muhammad Ali draped in the white lion skin, symbolizing the moon ages. For the gold mane was symbolized for the sun ages. So here he is symbolically walking us from the moon ages back in the light or the sun ages. Symbolically, Muhammad Ali is walking us out of the darkness into the light. Slightly visible in the upper left hand corner, you can see the spectrums of light. The age we have been in in the last 2000 plus years has been Pisces, symbolized by two fish. Walking us out of the age of darkness and ignorance, Muhammad is walking us into the age of Aquarius. On his gloves, it inscribes New Age of Aquarius. So he is symbolically handing the gloves to the next generation of warriors and heroes. As the most popular figure in the last century, besides Michael Jackson, on his belt it inscribes Last Ever, instead of the commonly known Ever Last. Aquarius is described as being the water bearer or the man with the pitcher of water. But a deity in ancient Kemet, Egypt, shared the same title, the Netr Hapi. Hapi had two titles, one for the upper regions, the south, and one for the lower regions, the north. The symbol of water in the Ntrmedu or hieroglyphics is Mu with the three ripple waves or the letter N three times. Happy is the force that runs through rivers to bring fertility to the lands of the desert. So when you combine the two terms Mu and Hapi, you get the river waters. But the origin of this deity is in the south, 
and when there, he is called Muhab Reset. When he floats from the upper to the lower, he reaches the most northern parts of Kemet. He is then called Muhab Meheti, the river waters in the north. For the word Meheti means north. One of the most famous quotes from Muhammad Ali is that he would like to float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. Notice he said float and bee. Floating is associated with a river, Hapi, and B is associated with the kingship or upper. These points were raised to show how Muhammad and Muhat Meheti sound similar. Aquarius in the ancient Ntremedu would be Muhab Pehet, waters of Hapi in the heavens. Now we will go over the most prominent figures of Muhammad Ali during his prime years. In the lower right you see Howard Bingham, his photographer that's been with him for years. Next you see Bandini Brown longtime friend and trainer of the champ. Then you see Angelo Dundee with a smile on his face. In the back, one of his main inspirations, Jack Johnson. Next, you see Howard Cosell, one who interviewed Muhammad Ali and made his face popular all over the world. Then, his brother, Rahman Ali, followed by Martin Luther King, Don King, Elijah Muhammad, Malcolm X, Joe Frazier, Joe Lewis, and the Kennedy Brothers. This is the first of many presentations of our art had multiple layers and meaning that activate left and right side of your brain. My next presentation will be titled The Fashions of Nature, where we explore how the fashions of the past have influence in today's modern pop culture.